Hello guys, it's me again, Amar, and I'm back with another video. Today's video, it's, it's gonna be a review and overclocking of the 3600CL14 kit by G-Skill, the, um, the Trident Z Royal kit. As you guys can see, this, this box is empty, basically, but I already installed the, um, the member inside my PC and been playing with it for around uh, 24 hours or so. And before we start, don't forget to hit like, subscribe to the channel, and let's do this. Alright guys, so I already like overclocked and tested this kit a little bit and honestly like the 3600 CL14 kit it's pretty expensive and it's basically meant for the people who like for people who like to overclock stuffs so Personally, I think this RAM is not for the average user, like for those like enthusiast level people, so or maybe some guys want like if a person wants to overclock and experiment with B die and stuff, this kit is basically crazy. It's oh it overclocks like crazy. The only downside to it though, it's the price. Like it's it did cost around 200 bucks 200 205 dollars but at this point you're already like if you're gonna spend that much on a ram you know you have a problem with overclocking you're beyond the diminution returns for the um, ram so basically yeah um it, with that being said um i already tested this kit at uh, I did test it at 4.4 GHz and I did test it at 4.3 GHz. So at 4.4 GHz I got like 62 nanoseconds flat, which is pretty crazy for Ryzen, I guess. It's it's not freaking crazy, it's like pretty impressive numbers. Like I just can't improve on the read or copy. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, as you guys can see the timings are 14, 14, 14, 28. 42 um i might be able to tighten some timings up but at this point i'm not going to bother anymore because this thing is already tight enough and i'm not at 1.5 volt i'm at 1.48 volt all right um and by the way yes the ram is freaking stable it's it's 100% on each thread stable and you guys can see my timings over here like 14 14 14 14 28 42 I can like maybe lower TRC by like I might be able to lower TRC maybe to 40 or maybe to tw uh, to 38 or something and maybe the TRS as well and maybe one one tick of the uh, rest of the timings and the trfc will scale with voltage so the more voltage you shove into the kit the lower the trfc value it will get but i'm not gonna bother 255 is already tight and cl 141414 14, 14, 28 is already tight and i'm not gonna bother tighten stuffs and retest the um the uh what they call it, the mem test basically i'm i really hate like watching these numbers and waiting for the memory to get an error or something and then to reset everything up so so yeah basically that's my timing and the sub timings i can i might be able to improve some some sub timings but at this point i'm already at like 1200 percent on each thread's table i'm not gonna bother with it to be honest with you guys um yeah so 4.4 gigahertz i got 62 nanoseconds and at my daily overclock which is 4.3 i got 62.5 nanoseconds see that 100 megahertz how does it affect the score especially the latency like 0.5 latency went down just 
because of 100 extra megahertz and it's not freaking stable like yeah so i'm gonna import the um, xmp profile and calculate fast and i will compare my timing and oh and these are my timings uh like you can basically like if you have the same kit you might be able to drop like some numbers here and there but at this point i'm not gonna bother i'm at 1.48 volt 1.1 soc 48 proc odt and i'm using um 24s and the cat bus block and yeah uh, what else there um yeah so like i said this kit like this kit is pretty freaking expensive basically and i think it's like a waste to run xmp on it and just leave it as is but you're leaving like performance on the table you know but yeah this memory kit is like it's meant for like people who tend to overclock their stuff like for um ram enthusiasts for people who love overclocking basically and yeah in my opinion i think this kit is not for the average user um it's a very good kit of course and similar kits like the 3600 cl 16 all the way down 16 16 16 36 and 3200 CL14 um, those two kits are Samsung B die of course and some of them can like most of the people I saw on Facebook like in groups and stuff like they were able to hit 14 14 14 but at 1.5 1.52 volts something like that so yeah anyways guys so yeah these are my timings and i show you the result over here so yeah that's conclude the video so all right guys and that's conclude the video so don't forget to hit like subscribe to the channel if you have any question leave it down in the comment below and i'll see you in the next one